sabia o que eu ia falar, que eu não sei. Ah, é uma catedral, é uma catedral. Hã? Rede Globo? É pra Rede Globo. Tá. Plim, plim. Sobre mulher bonita. They, they ask us what are we doing and if we, if we are doing something for global, it's like the main TV channel in Brazil. And then I said yes, and then he's like, what is, um, what is the interview for? I was like, it's for beautiful women. It's raining. So this is Praça Roosevelt. It's a really fun spot to skate. There's stairs, double set, there's rails, there's hubbas, ledges. And it just got rebuilt like a year or two years ago, so it's brand new. Yeah, we get kicked out all the time. We got kicked out like five days ago. It's kind of the area, it's kind of ghetto. Not like ghetto, ghetto, but it's not like good area. So we are skating the ledge in front of this empty building. And then this guy came with his car really fast. He almost ran off Tiago, and then he came off the car with his his knife, and he started going like, "Get out of my building! Get out of here! Get off of my spot! Get out of here!" Like he was so sketchy. Like me and Tiago were so scared. My heart was like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. always like this. Yeah, it's raining pretty much every day. Like after 1 or 2 p.m. it started raining. When I was like about 9 or 10 years old, all my friends started skating. So I started skating with them, but I didn't have a board. My sister's friend, he let me use his board for like a month. And then I met a guy that he was he was like doing a free skate school by his house. So he started teaching me how to ollie, how to kick flip. And everyone used to call me lesbian and like little tomboy, cause I was the only girl. And skateboarding was for guys, not girls. So my dad was not supporting me. Like after like almost a year skating, I went to my first contest. My friend's dad, came to my house and talked to my dad for like three hours. So my dad finally agreed to take me to the contest. So I went to my first contest and I, I won. And my dad was like, wow, I didn't know girls can skate. After that, he started taking me to every contest. So after that, everything was like great. <laughs> Sister Bruna, this is my mom, and this is Thiago, my sister husband, and this is the place we barbecue. She used to call me a little boy, little tomboy, yeah, because <laughs> she she used to take me to the to the skate park every every day, and she only she she said I'm only gonna take you if you wear pink and if you if you do your hair like this. I had to go to the skate park like this. I had to wear like all pinky. Like pink helmet, pink shirt. Yes. <laughs>
At 14, I got invited to compete at X Games, the last place. It was crazy, because I used to see all the girls on the video, and then I was skating with them. I was so young, so little, and I couldn't skate big stuff, like big double set, rails, hubbas. So it was hard for me. The first time I got there, I, I saw all the skate parks, all the street spots. I was like, yeah, I'm not going back to Brazil. I want to stay. A gente ficou preocupada, porque ela era muito novinha, tinha 13 anos, mas a gente sabia que não tinha o que fazer, que ela, a carreira dela era lá, que ela não ia ter espaço no Brasil. Então a gente teve que apoiar, independente da saudade e da preocupação. It took me 20 days to convince my dad to let me stay there. So one day I was trying a trick, and I was trying, trying, my dad told me, he was like, yeah, if you land it right now, I'll let you stay. So I had to land the trick. I didn't speak any English, like nothing. So I, I went to Hollywood High School for like a year and a half, like a year, a year and a half, and I started learning. Eu me sinto muito, muito feliz quando eu vejo algum vídeo dela andando que eu não tenho oportunidade de ver ela ao vivo como eu via antes. E eu fiquei muito, todo mundo ficou muito feliz, muito honrado, assim, um orgulho imenso da família. Além dela andar de skate, ela é uma menina inteligente, uma menina... She's a good skater, and she's very pretty, you know, very beautiful. <laughs> every time, every skate park you go... Hey, Leticia, can you autograph? Can you give your word to me? Can you hey, marry me? Every kid say this. When I started skating, I thought I was gonna just skate for fun. I never thought I was gonna be a pro one day. I was gonna make money, you know? So it's, it's crazy. Sometimes I stop and I start thinking, I'm like, damn, I'm so lucky. I've been doing a lot of stuff for my sponsors, a lot of stuff outside skateboarding as well. But now I'm gonna focus 100% on this video part. It's a chance to show that I can skate street. I want people to watch my video part more than once, not like a contest that they're gonna watch once and that's it. After three days, they're gonna forget. 